Riverton Park picks up the win tonight, but was Vigo's gymnasium was home to more than a basketball game tonight. It's where Sports 10's Ross Rowling came across an inspiring act of kindness. Nothing can replace this place in my heart. Once a lady Viking, always a lady Viking. It's something West Vigo head coach Ryan Easton makes clear to his basketball team. I preach program grades K through 12 all the time, but I also want girls to know that just because when they graduate, they're, they're not done. They're still a part of this program. They're still a part of this team in essence. Sarah is a 2001 graduate of West Vigo. That spirited philosophy took center stage Tuesday night. Riverton Park assistant Sarah Norton graduated from West Vigo in 2001 where she played on the program's last sectional championship team. Less than 12 years later, Norton was presented with some life-changing news. My first words to them was, "What do you, I don't know what you're talking about, breast cancer, I'm only 29 years old, I don't know why we're having this discussion, and it all became very real, very, very quick. Coach was diagnosed in September and started therapy within the week. She continued to coach, and when her Panthers visited West Vigo Tuesday night, she arrived to a sea of pink. From shoelaces to warm-ups, her maiden name and high school number on the backs of the Vikings, with the Panthers sporting Norton and the number one. Wes Vigo has worked to raise money to help with her fight, a whole night of kindness, including a presentation at half court before tip-off, a presentation for one strong Viking that brought the audience to tears. Once a, once a lady Viking, always a lady Viking. This isn't a night of sorrow, this is a night of celebration of, uh, of life and the game of life and that she's kicked its butt so far and uh, we know that and let her know that we're here for her the, the rest of the way. It's been life changing but th this is a crazy thing to say but it's been life changing in a positive way. I can I can fight the battle, I can do the treatments, I can do those kinds of things. I've always said you know give me give me those things because I feel like this being played out in front of I guess my students at school, my, my basketball players, I just wanted to know, sometimes life throws you a curveball. With such a bright smile during such a tough time, it's crystal clear that Norton took her curveball and hit it out of the park. In West Terre Haute with photojournalist Cody Adams, Ross Rawlings, Sports 10.